The Bible says, be still and know that he is God. That God is not the God of confusion, but of peace, right? The Lord God Almighty implores us to not fear. Perfect love casts out fear. He who has been made perfect in love does not fear. African Christianity, I really do apologize. You induce fear in people. People walk into your churches, meet a deliverance minister, and then anticipate that their Christianity all this time since they got born again has been a waste of time. It's irresponsible. You tell people that there is this altar against them. There is this family member coming up against them. This is why they're not yet married at 35. This is, yeah. And then they start to think that all these years, 12 years in total, that they've been born again. They've been wasting time praying to a holy God. I apologize. There is only one mediator between God and man. His name is Jesus Christ. And he's the one that said we must go to and not a deliverance minister. A deliverance minister rocking up in the life of a person making them feel that all this time all they're praying and fasting has been a waste because they have not quite done it right is coming up with doctrines of demons and destructive heresies. If it can't be found in the Bible, it is not the truth. Is that basic? So people should not be told that they need to go to a person in order to get delivered. And that's why for 12 years they have not been able to get answered prayer. They should not be getting told that and like just believe it. And African Christianity has done that to people. It has induced fear.